Okay, so um, obviously both of you guys are writers and artists, and a lot of people talk about like who made them want to do things, but I'm wondering like what kind of concepts or visuals when you were growing up or whatever were you seeing or maybe not seeing that made you think, I want to do that? I mean, my answer is... <laughs> <laughs> that, his, his stuff, you know, no. like it's kind of, you know, it's him and him and Simon Furman were like sort of like, yeah, that please, thank you, more. No, you're welcome. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could, in the UK, uh, which I'm not from, I'm very much from Ireland, but uh, <laughs> we, uh, but we, uh, we get, you know, we got the UK comic and we got it weekly. So and and as everyone knows, like the they they they'd sort of like have a few weeks of sort of the American reprints and then they sort of switch over to the like, Furman running riot with the, the kind of the post movie cast, you know, a lot of the time. Um, so, uh, kind of on any given week, you know, I was getting some prime Furman or a nice slice of Budiansky, you know, in, in my, on my, my letterbox. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was kind of getting like a good education from, from both of them, you know. They're both like different writers, but they're both building, there's just the world building of both of them, you know. So it's, and that, that's kind of something that obviously I've tried to emulate. Like James, you know, who I co write with is, is excellent at the world building. Like he kind of, I always describe it with James uh, that he, uh, he likes to lick a character. So no one else can use it, you know. So he'll sort of like, so oh, I've got a character right. Here's his origin, yeah, <laughs> you know. So, so I was like, oh damn it, we can't, you know. And so, and he's 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 great at doing that, you know. And so, um, so so yeah, I mean, like my my primary comic education would have been like the, the Transformers reprints, really. So it's that um, when the Transformers comics folded, I had to sort of kind of try and graduate to big boy comics, and it just happened to be at the time when. Uh, like Jim Lee and Rob Liefeld's uh, kind of ex comics were starting to be available in like local kind of bookshops. Not like, we didn't have any comic shops where we lived, and so so that would have been like, kind of like my next sort of taste of kind of what kind of comics is possible. So they're both quite impactful. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the thing about Bob and, and Simon is that they never uh, they never wrote down, or they, you know at least it didn't seem like they were writing down to the readers. Do you know what I mean? Like they, they, the stories were better than they had a right to be. You know, and so you're going from that. To, and then to sort of this like really the visual impact of like Jim Lee, you know, and, and then even Rob Liefeld, that's the thing, Rob Liefeld is, he gets a lot of slack in, a lot of, some of it deserved, but he kind of made you feel like this was doable, not in so much as like, oh, I could draw better than him, <laughs> so I know, but, but, but in as much as it had that like a raw youthfulness to it, so I, I'd have to say that like as far as like my, my earliest sort of kind of like, this is cool, wouldn't it be cool to do this, are probably those kind of early 90s X-Men's and X-Forces, and then obviously the Transformers comic that I was obsessed with, yeah. Okay, well, uh, I, unlike, unlike what you said, I didn't draw my inspiration for myself. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, but I, I drew inspiration from a, an earlier generation of comic book creators from the 1960s. Um, so uh, I probably had similar experience that you had, which is like I loved reading what they brought to the, uh, to the, to the books I was looking at, and uh, I, loved, I loved the artwork, and um, uh, it was very, very imaginative. It made me think I'd like to do some of this someday. Um, and yeah, I guess, you know, so by the time I was like 12 years old, if somebody had asked me what did I want to do when I grew up, I would say I want to be a comic book artist. I wasn't so much thinking about writing, although yeah, I, yeah. I was definitely interested in the stories and all. Um, but, uh, but then as I got a little older and I got into high school, I was thinking, oh, nobody can make a living as a comic book artist. So I graduated high school, went to college, got a degree in civil engineering, and uh, then dropped out of grad school. <laughs> Thank you.